whenever I get a chance and add this to Okay, there's just a few of us here tonight. It is now. I'm glad that she's here now. It's going to be good. Thank you. No problem, man. Ms. Swafford, you talk as a libertarian, you know, we take a look at so many Republicans and Democrats adhere to many libertarian principles. They like the idea of the Libertarian Party, but they don't seem to like the candidates. You take a look at the numbers that libertarian candidates get, it's somewhere between 4 and 7 percent all across the country. You seem to be tracking that sort of number as well. At what point does the Libertarian Party break through and become a real challenger to Republicans and Democrats. And the second part of that question is, and maybe the third part, A, is it you, and B, will it happen in our lifetime? Today! I think we're certainly getting there. If you look in the 2008 election, we had a candidate who was able, or excuse me, the 2010 election, we had a candidate who was able to take a million votes in Georgia. The Libertarian Party has actually had a candidate in 2012 that also took a million votes in the races. And I'm the candidate who's running for United States Senate as the only candidate who's had elective experience in our local government. I have a record for voting for less government and more freedom. You know, we went to the National Convention this year, and I've been a Libertarian Party for 20, 18 years, and I can tell you the world of difference our candidates are already making. We have a whole new uh, theory and sense that there are a lot of people that are standing up and getting tired of voting for the same old, same old, because we've been promised Reform time and time and time again, and we never did it. Everyone is tired of the IRS and the fair tax, and yet Congress has never given us the fair tax. Why not? You have to ask these questions. And I think it's time. And the people in here in Georgia, we're just ready for the power and responsibility of the individual. Freedom! 
that Washington is the solution for outsourcing. If that indeed is correct, what should public policy be about this subject that is very, very divisive in this country? Well, first of all, let's get this straight. What causes companies to fail? Because they can't compete. Right now, we have a history in this country, an entire industry is being decimated by government policy, bad government policy. Textile, apparel, footwear, electronics, even furniture. Bad management on the part of any individual can cause entire industries to disappear. Don't be misled by false statements about what I have said or what I haven't said about my career. One line out of a 180 page document was taken from 10 years ago. What we have to do right now, in my opinion, is to get America working again. And that's why we have to focus on tax reform, regulatory reform, and get our energy critical to set the stage for a new era of economic growth in America. Our kids deserve better than we're giving them right now today. He supports her. Do you really think that she's not going to support him when she gets there? Look, the decision in this race is very simple. If you like what's going on in Washington, vote for my opponent. Because she'll be nothing but a rubber stamp for Barack Obama and Harry Reid and nothing will change. But, if you're as outraged by the size and scope of this government, by the failed policies of this administration, and by the debt that they're piling on the backs of our kids and grandkids, then stand with me. And let's take America forward for everyone. I'm David Perdue. I'm asking for your vote and your support. Indeed, health care. 
grow by 13%, even though we have not expanded the eligibility. We had a good idea that was going to happen, and it is happening, and it is costing us a huge amount of money. Let me tell you what the Affordable Care Act is costing the state of Georgia in this year's budget. $351.5 million additional dollars for our state health benefit plan. going to get that new two and a half million dollars. Mr. Jim Gallagher.